I'm Monica. How are you guys doing today? Hi, good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited to talk to you guys. I loved the second season. I thought it was excellent. My first question is for the both of you. Uh, what was it like for you returning for the second season? Well, it was it was so exciting because uh, what the audience doesn't know, I think, is uh, we only found out two weeks before we got there for season two that we were picked up for season two. So it's not like we knew for very long. And, and so we all arrived with this incredible excitement <laughs> that we, you know, we didn't know if we were getting a season two. We were hanging on and we were waiting. And so we arrived so happy to be there. And then that just takes off all through season two as the scripts started coming in. Uh, we just got more and more excited. And, you know, season one was all about finding out what the show was and creating these characters. And, you know, season two, we knew who these characters are. We we built them. And so now we just could take off and have fun and go on adventures and really expand as actors. And uh, we've got more jokes. It's funnier. Uh, the supporting cast goes on a terrific ride. You get to know all of them so much deeper and uh it was it was just so much fun and then uh this question is for both of you um the show does a really good job of giving every character the side characters everybody a lot of complexity yeah. what was your favorite thing about the way your character was written uh well i mean there's a lot of things that i like about uh hector i mean the way is written first of all the writers they do an amazing job i mean it just it just the the character jumps out of the page and uh, everything everything that you see really starts on the page again if it's yes. not on the page it's it's not on the stage now uh when it comes to hector i really liked how this season this time around you get to see a little bit more of his uh hopeless romantic side you know in season one you get this vibe you get this feeling that hector is a lady killer he's a playboy but at the end of the day he's just fighting for love, looking for love. He he wants to settle down and um, he believes he found love over here. Uh, and then we'll see what that really means and how that affects him in, in season two. And then what about you, uh, Jessica? What were some of the things that you liked about the way your character was written? Um, I mean, there's the writers do such an amazing job. Yeah. They have been very good to me and uh, Gosh, I mean, they make my job easy. <laughs> uh, but one of the things I love how she's written, and then obviously I get to play it this way, is Diane is unapologetically Diane. Uh, she doesn't apologize for the things that come out of her mouth. And, and they're crazy sometimes, the things that she says. But that's what she, you know, she says what she's thinking. And um, she's, just, she's just unapologetically herself. And I love that about her. You know what I found? Uh, I'm, I'm sure you've kind of like realized this as we went along in the season, but like one of the coolest things that I realized was that because we came back for a second season, the writers already knew us and they yes. knew our voice. Yes. So it feels like when you read the scripts in season two, the little mannerisms and the way we say things, we as people, as Jessica and as Raphael, and what we brought to the characters, it was already there. It was already in the scripts. And I thought that was really cool. And that also yeah. speaks very highly of our, of our writers and how well they know us and how they're yes. really tailoring the characters to us. Yeah, absolutely. And my last question for the both of you is, um, you know, hopefully you get a lot more seasons, but if you come back for season three, what do you hope for your characters? Oh. Wow. <sighs> I leave that to the writers. Yeah. Um, they they have not steered us wrong. They've been very good to both of us. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, obviously I want a season three because I love this cast and crew and I want to work, but I, I really want to know what happens. You know, they we, we leave you with some questions. I'll say that. And um, I, I really want to know what happens to these characters. I'm, I'm so curious. And um, I keep asking the writers if they have any ideas and they won't tell me anything. So it, it's always fun to see uh, when people make decisions, see how those decisions affect uh, the world and, and, and the environment that you live in. But I, I guess it's, it, it's always beautiful 
to understand why people make those decisions. And hopefully we could see more of that in, in season three. Absolutely. I totally agree. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It was so lovely to talk to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Come on. It's time for another chapter of my Rags to Riches life story. Welcome to Acapulco. Now, everyone, get to work. Memo was finally working at the pool with me. Chad and Julia made their engagement official. <laughs> but I was happy for them. Because I had my eyes on someone new. Como te llamaba? Maximo. So, what's Maximo's deal? I think he's Mexican. I didn't know it yet. But everything was about to change for me. You always have to make things a mystery. I don't know. Do I? Anyway. A dark time in my life was approaching. Me siento fatal. Odio lo que me he convertido por ese hotel. My family was at risk of losing everything. But sometimes, things have to break apart to come back stronger. Supongo que no todos mis sueños se pueden hacer realidad. O oh, tal vez lo que necesitas es soñar más grande. Life doesn't always take you where you think you should go. But it has a way of leading you to where you should be. Claro que siempre hay una solución. Eres Máximo Gallardo. Gracias por recordarme mi nombre. <laughs> is about finding where you belong. Will the owner of the whitest ass in Mexico please come to the front desk? Who's messing with the PA? <laughs> hey, not funny. <laughs>